Okay, I'm back. First things, <laughs> I don't know why I'm tongue-tied today, but I absolutely am. Had to go get these glasses because this lady right here needs to make sure that she can read packaging correctly. And I want to make sure that when I'm doing my doll reviews or I'm talking to you about these dolls that I can see. That's number two. <laughs> but anyways, um, our girl Lele or that girl Lele is out of the box. And um, I always like to talk about the experience also of having to unpackage some of these dolls because it can be very, very, very hard. And so we have to always like go off camera, unpackage the doll, take the stuff out to make your videos a lot better. So with that being said, she was not hard at all to get out of her packaging. And I think that that was amazing. Whoever, let me see what company, let me not say whoever and see what company this is from. It looks like Just Play Logo. Um, well, their packaging just plain, and they're, ooh, they're out of Boca Raton, Florida. I'm in Florida. Um, and their packaging was amazing. It was very easy for her to come out. But the best part of it, the best part, best part, aside from Integrity Toys, who to me is a holy grail of dolls. I'm, don't at me. Don't get mad at me. Don't say anything to me. But they are up there on my list, right, with Barbie. Um, they do not put the prongs in the back of her hair, right? So when you take Lele's hair out, um, it's just like twirled, but it's just held with the fasteners. So when you cut the fasteners off, you do not have um, to try to go in between the scalp and find that little, you know, that, that pisses me off. And I always usually try to cut it and then you got to try to push it in so that, you know, it doesn't, you know, cut you on your hand and your fingers, you know, trying to get it out. So um, let's go through Lele. Okay, so the doll is beautiful. Okay, she is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see, when I cut, I cut the hand tags off a little bit later. Um, if they don't have like the little slit, oh yeah, she does, but I don't think I cut it right. But I'll do it later. Well, let me do it now because I'm, it's aggravating me and I'm going to be showing you her and don't want there to be any problems. So, anywho, so Lele is absolutely gorgeous. Look at Lele. Hey, I'm cute, y'all. I love her little high ponytail buns, like those bantu knots in the front. Lily's got beautiful baby hairs around the side. She just reminds me of, if you all remember, or do you remember back, um, China McLean, I think her name was, she played in the ant, something that was on Disney Channel, but she was like one of my favorite. I actually have that doll around here somewhere. I have a lot of old school dolls, I'm gonna show y'all. Um, but she was like my absolute favorite. And Disney, I think, did an awesome line on um, that play line for those girls on that show. And you haven't seen a lot of the dolls from the play lines of these Nickel Nickelodeon or Disney shows. So when Nickelodeon has put out a little beautiful curly hair Lele, I am absolutely stunned. Now, they don't look the same. Like the box Lele doesn't look like real Lele, but what y'all think? But it's okay because she's cute just like the real Lele is absolutely cute so anywho she comes with this really cute little um jacket the shirt and the jacket are together so for me that's like a mm, we're gonna have to redress Lele and put her in something you know where you know you've got a couple of pieces but um the quality of her hair is absolutely gorgeous okay so when you take her out of the box remember it's like twisted with two sides like they're two ponytails so you will see some of the scalp in there but it does cover fully. So you don't have that going on. And I wanted to show you that once the hair is out together. So I think they did an awesome job um, of styling the doll's hair. I don't like the fact that the clothes uh, seem a little cheap to me. I mean, they're not like the best quality. They're okay. I mean, it's, she's a starter doll from the company. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to do a video in the hair shed. Okay. Now... That that might have been, maybe I cut something when I did that because it's not shedding at all any other way. And I want to make sure I do a really good review on these dolls when I do them because I don't want anyone to say it's bad quality or bad product. I think I did that. So, I'm sorry, Lele. Um, so, she comes with these really cute sneakers. You can see them. The bottom of the sneakers come off. Okay, and you can change them and interchange your sneakers, Lele sneakers. I haven't taken these off or anything like that. She is articulated. She bends at the knee. Uh, let's see if her foot bends. No, she doesn't have articulation at the foot. She has it at the wrist. 
she has articulation at the elbow. The head does swivel from side to side, front to back. Um, and this would, I would say the only thing that was, is, you know, not like the best for me, but I am going to restyle Lele and the next time you see her, she'll look a little different. Um, I don't like the fact that the, sh the jacket and the shirt are like one piece. Um, it velcros in the back, but it is just like one piece, not a two piece outfit, not, not two pieces. Um, she's a really cute girl and I'm super excited about, um, having her in my collection. I collect all dolls. All dolls, all dolls. So she's my first very different doll. I don't know whose family member I'll make her a part of, but right now I am super stoked at how gorgeous she is. I, her price point, uh, and I found her at Walmart. Her price point was $19.99, which I think is pretty good. Um, uh oh, it's pretty good. I don't know what's going going on. Lele, what's up? I don't know what's going on, but it's pretty good. I think price point for her of being $19.99. So here's Lele outside of the box. She does not come with a doll stand. She does not come with a comb, which I thought that, you know, she would have came with like a little comb or something. Um, she does come with her sneakers. <clears throat> Put it down for a minute. She also comes with these patches, like little mini patches that you can put on her clothing. And maybe that's why she, hold on, let's look. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, that is what you're supposed to do. So you get eight mini patches, right? Hold on a minute. Hold on to your love. Okay, so you get some mini patches and it says that you're supposed to put those patches on her jacket. So maybe that's why. And you can put them on her pants too. Now it says I get an iron on, but I don't see an iron on in mine. She also comes with this little purse, this little purple purse. Now let me say this about the Oh, okay, maybe this big L right here is supposed to be an iron-on. So inside, you also get this iron-on. I'm not going to use it. I mean, but, and I don't have any young kids because I'm an older collector. And all my kids are grown, not grown, but I have a 13-year-old and she's um, developmentally delayed. So she likes to watch mommy do these videos, but she's definitely not going to, well, I, I probably could put a little patch on something, but I don't know. I am so wrong, everyone. This was very uh, different and thought out. So Lele has a little purse, right? And when you, and when the purse has little L's on it, I just wanna show you that up close, make sure it's focused. But when you open the purse, Lele, 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 there is your goal. The top of the purse is a goal. I think it's really cute. That's, that's a really cute idea. Um, because when I saw this purse, I said, Lele looks like she's like 11, 11, 12 years old. So I don't necessarily foresee her with this grandma purse, but we'll put it in our bag collection with our other bags. Um, but she does have like a little pick comb. So now we can go through Lele's hair. You can comb it out in the back and make sure that she is um, presentable. And I love it. So $19.99 Walmart, okay. Grab her, pick her up. I don't know how many are on shelves or anything. They were like two boxes when I got there. She is articulated. For us articulated doll girls, guys, lovers, we love articulated dolls. So anytime we can get our hands to do rebodying or to do something different with these dolls, it is amazing to find them. So I'm not going to rebody Lele because she is perfect how she is. I am, however, going to restyle her and put her in a whole other family. And this next doll, our glow up girl, Kenzie, might be her older sister. Let's take a look at Kenzie outside of the box. Okay, I'm back. I um, semi took the Glow Up Girl dolls, Kenzie, out of her box because I kind of wanted to show you how the packaging comes so that you are a bit of aware. So Kenzie actually comes like this in this plastic and it looks like she's in a foot tub, which I'm excited. She's in a foot tub, everyone. Um, here are these plastic ties that I was telling you all about that Lele did not come with that I'm not so happy with. Um, but let me unsnap snap and let's get her completely out. So that I can, we can have a better look um, at this particular doll. Um, the one thing I do like is that these dolls are made, other brands are really paying attention to make sure that these dolls are made um, articulated. And that means a lot to um, doll connoisseurs. We love, we love, we love a doll. It's, uh, uh -oh. We don't have to do too much to it. Oh. I 
I hate that I gotta do this on camera. Like I'm really trying to. And this is why I don't like these little ties. This little snap. It just takes entirely too long. Okay, so I'm mean, taking her out of her box. I think I'm out. Oh, yeah, I did. I missed a little spot here. Get her. I'm always trying to not mess up the hair or like not mess up um, a tie somewhere. And I d definitely am not trying to cut the hair. Like I think I might have did with Lele. Okay, so she's got the box. Yay! So she comes with a little foot bath. So I'm excited to see what we're doing with this little foot bath because she was standing in it. I don't know if it's just a foot bath or whatever have you. So I'm going to take the plastic off of her hair. I love, first of all, coming out of the box, I love her um, beautiful curls. Nice ringlet curls. Very, very pretty ringlet curls, Kenzie. Oh, Kenzie thick. <laughs> Y'all, Kenzie is thick and our Kenzie is articulated at the ankle. I love when I see articulation completely without, I mean, throughout. That's why I'm just, oh, love made to move bodies. I really do. Um, she's articulated at her wrist. She's articulated at her elbow. She's articulated here at the shoulder. Um, the waist does not move, but her arms do okay so she's out of the box now she's got pretty ringlets um very very cute doll she comes with pajama set and she comes with her face covered it looks like a sleeping mask like a kitty it reminds me of a kitty i don't know if it's kitty i'm thinking kitty because she's got this looks like a kitty print or cheetah print um purple pajamas with uh, uh or spa pajamas with her um butterfly a blue butterfly on the front very cute doll I'm, I'm surprised and let me tell you something when I saw some reviews or I looked at the doll in the box I was like mm, I don't know but the more and more I take her out the more and more I'm kind of like she's adorable um and so here's her face underneath the face mask very pretty very pretty girl very pretty girl I really like Kenzie Okay, then once you've taken Kenzie out and you've got her foot back, back and everything, she comes with these layers of surprises, okay? Now remember, the box told us that there are 25 fashion surprises and I, I'm one that's like, I'm looking for all 25, not 24, not 14. I need all 25 that you say because I'm still trying to figure it out with some of the LOL. They'll say 25 or 20, you know, surprises and I'm trying to figure out. I personally don't think you should be counting earrings and stuff like that. that. That should be one, not one each. Okay, so the first thing we're going to open up, and I'll start at the bottom, is she's got like a little bag. It says, glow on ahead, there's nothing stopping you. It's like a little shopping bag, but it has something inside, so we'll open it together. So when you open up the... Okay. So when you open it up, it looks like it is... Oh, okay, this must be her clothes. Okay, so she's got like a fuzzy coat. It's shedding a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. She's got a little fuzzy coat. Okay, little fuzzies. Mm -hmm. All right, fuzzies. This could have been made a little better, but okay. And she's got like a, what looks to be like a romper. It is a romper, okay? So I'm not a fan of it too much, but... Maybe it looks better on. So Kenzie might be another doll that's going to be getting redressed. So yeah, this is a um, little romper. So inside your first bag, is looks like a, the start of her outfit. All right, so into the next section. It says, Glitter Gleam. Are you ready to glow inside and out, it says. So let's take the tape off of it and see what's on that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know what this is. These are scissors. Okay, so when I open this up, it looks like there's some little mini stickers on here. Um... Not sure what it's like, these little gold lockets. And I don't know what this is because it's crunched up. I don't know if this is supposed to be 
a necklace choker? What that is? Okay, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be a choker or some type of necklace choker. Not sure. The next section of the box has another box on it and it says um, a spark of style. And as you can see, it reminds me of like a little shoe box. Okay. Oh, okay. So inside here, she's got some boots, some thigh high boots, some iridescent pink thigh high boots, if you can see that. It's two of those. I've never seen thigh high boots really look like this. This is um, amazing. Okay, she also comes with this little green um, carrier that has like her name on it, Kenzie, it says. And when you kind of open it, oh, it just kind of, you just press it open like this. See? And inside of it, it has a, like a little pretend lipstick in there. That's cute. That's very cute. Okay, and the next, it looks like this is going to be the next thing. It's like a soap that you put inside. It's wrapped. I'm not going to open this up because I'm not going to put her in it. But this would be the fizzy that you'd put inside the bath if you were doing a spa day with her. And you'd put her feet in there. If kids want to play with that, they do that. Okay. Um, second to last, it says shine bright. And in that one... In this blind bag, we have another fizzy. So I don't know if that one is for you and this one's for the doll. It's a face mask. So I guess you uh, wet it and there's some instructions to put it on the doll um, or put it on you, adult supervision, it says. Let's see, drop mask in H2O, watch as it expands. So I think it's for you or for the doll and it goes on the doll's face for like a little spa part. Um, and lastly, Goodness, what did they put this in here with? You know what I think? I'm hoping that Kenzie, um, I'm really hoping that Kenzie can fit. You remember the, um, I have all of them. I gotta just remember. But the collectible world dolls, I'm hoping she can fit their clothes and I'm praying to God she can fit their shoes. Because that ain't gonna work. Okay. So your lastly, the thing that I have on here is, okay, so they're giving you a belt. It looks like that she comes with a belt and it kind of like loops around her and goes in the hole and you could clasp it that way. And she's got like a little cute little um, green purse. These purses are super cute. I mean, I, I have to give it to them, the little accessories. Um, the work that they did with this looks amazing. I'm happy for it. Let me get Kenzie dressed and let's talk about her. Okay. This is Kenzie all dressed up. We'll, we'll start at the feet. I just want to know where Kenzie's going. When, when I think about dolls and I think about um, the thought process that goes into making your girl. When, when I take Kenzie out the box, I said, oh, she's relaxed. She's getting ready to do a spa day. She looks amazing. Um, I absolutely can identify with that girl, right? Because we all want something we can identify with that we are, um, that draws us to her, that adds some depth, right? Lele, probably going to school, getting ready to go hang out with her friends. Just grab another dolls on my shelf. Barbie, she's everywhere. A rainbow high doll. Clearly, she's going on a winter sport. So when you look at the dolls, you should be able to look at them and say, I can identify. So I just want someone to tell me what was the thought process behind some thigh high plastic leather boots and some heels because she's giving me every bit of somebody's avenue worker the fuzzy jacket a onesie with a belt like if i i 
I don't, first of all, the, the, the boots don't match anything she has on. They're not even the same color. I don't know where we got the boots at. I'm going to fix you, girl. Don't worry. Um, but just to the creators, where we lacked in this doll, which doesn't do her any type of justice, because I've looked at the other dolls that are in this line, and their outfits seem to be a whole lot better. I'm, I'm crushed at how Kenzie was uh, represented here because truly she looks like what my question is where is she going and maybe my you know you all can tell me down in the comments where does Kenzie look like she's where is she going today y'all I, I hate the coat the coat probably by itself and with something else I'm going to keep it and you know rearrange it to another doll maybe or something that could possibly match but Kenzie looked like she is getting ready to work the corner she's got her bag doesn't match but that's okay i love the fact that you can have the play on colors she's got her kit who knows what she got to hit the corner and go somewhere i guess this is the little kit that she would take with but you didn't I, i'm just upset at the representation of the final product of the doll because this didn't get it for me this doesn't scream um proud hanging out you know i'm educated or doing something serious or saving the world this looks like we're going on the corner. Give me your thoughts. I mean, this is what I feel. Because I'm definitely going to redress Kenzie. And I'm going to make her look like a nice young uh, college student or high school student in her last year of school. Who is experiencing the joys and highs of just getting um, accepted by her frenemies and making the... Um, cheerleading team and having a couple of offers in from some of the top HBCUs and she's excited about that and I want Kenzie to represent what was represented um, to so many little girls that there's a possibility to not be on the corner with hook, hooker boots thigh highs and a romper okay if you was going to give her thigh highs you know give her give her a nice pair okay I've got some integrity thigh highs but that's not appropriate for Kenzie because Kenzie does not look like she needs to be on in a thigh high type of deal right now with this particular outfit but I digress so today we met Lele and we met Kinsey um I'm always honest I'm always going to give you my opinion and please remember that is exactly what you're getting my opinion I mean it doesn't mean that I'm I am you know the fact of all of it but this is just my perspective as a doll collector as you can see I collect a lot of dolls yes that's me in the back um, and I like to share my views. I'm going to be opening some. I'm just going to be talking about some. And I appreciate you for tuning in. So please do not forget to like, do not forget to subscribe and share. I mean, let's have a conversation. Let's talk about dolls. Somebody get me the person that made Kenzie because let me call them up.